Eloni litukoli ya kabere asaba waziri mbage ndrete kuhuna nkiwa wose mba isaine aso kuchako ira mabaga yebirogo au au ebiba achoro wangu igano maraibuense Dr. William Ruto. Litukoli ya lero wano ya wabu mutanga ni goso ase e kulingoli wokuo Dr. Karanja oyu achoro wa ase wizara yubulimi asanya rakoba aga kuboli wa mabolio atalimake ngana aralia ya rubiritie aso kuchako kine birengo vyubulimi aiga asense ya Kenya. Tika ngo tomote gerere ainda torole na aralia ya koreka chinsa cha mambia. We have suffered recurrent drought, flooding, uh, as uh, occasioned by climate change. In the process, we've lost a lot of livestock through starvation, millions of livestock. We've also lost crops uh, through flooding. Some are washed away. Even the crops that manage to survive do not perform well because of too much water. My question is, what mitigation measures can you put in place to reduce the loss of livestock in, uh, during future droughts? Uh, what compensation measures or strategies would you be able to put in place? Because we know that we have livestock insurance, at least areas uh, uh, livestock farmers can be compensated. What about crops, farmers that lose crops? What, what are your thoughts? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Honorable Mary, the issue about livestock and climate change. Climate change is a, is a definite threat to agriculture and many other sectors, including energy and others. And it has to be dealt with. It has to, measures have to be taken. And in particular, when you go to livestock, especially where it is practiced in uh, the arid and semi-arid areas. That is where climate change is becoming a big, a big issue due to uh, the persistent droughts. And we have to invest in uh, mitigation and adaptation measures in those areas. For instance, it is, if you go to the northeast uh, counties, Isioro, Mwajiam, and others, you realize that over time, the pastoralists have sta started to realize that uh, con pasture conservation is one of the areas which they can invest in. They used to graze and then go. But through interventions, through various programs, you can now see hay being sold in those areas. So some of these mitigation measures are going to, to be there, especially to change their lifestyle.